Welcome to the Lightning Lecture, Platform Specifics in Xamarin Forms. I'm Judy McNeil, and I'm an instructor at Xamarin University at Microsoft. Xamarin Forms has a set of built-in platform specifics that we can use to consume some functionality that's only available on a specific platform without having to create an effect or a custom renderer. So let's see how this works. If you go to docs.microsoft.com and look for platform specifics, you'll find some great documentation on how to work with it. There's a list of platform specifics for iOS, for Android, and for Windows. We're going to demonstrate two of those today, page.usesafearea and application.windowsoftinputmodeadjust for Android. Also, if you scroll down to related links, there is a link to a project that has all of the platform specifics in it, so you can try it out and get the code and see what, it, see what it's like. And Kim Philpotts did a really great blog post on Fast Scroll and Section Indexer in Xamarin.Forms list view using platform specifics. All right, so let's get into the code. I'm going to start with just a file new so that you can see how easy this is and that you don't need any special setup to get this working. So let's do file new project. We'll create a cross-platform Xamarin.Forms project. I'm going to put it closer to my C drive here and we'll call it platform specifics all right let's get that going all right, I'd like to start with iOS so I'll set that as my startup and I'll use a simulator. We'll use the iPhone 10. So let's go into our main page. I'd like to get rid of the label here. And we'll add a stack layout. And inside the stack layout, we'll put a box view. We'll set its color to yellow. and its vertical options to fill and expand. And let's do another box view. This time we'll set the color to green and the vertical options once again to fill and expand. And let's do an entry. We'll need that for the Android part. Vertical options to end. All right, so let's see what that looks like. So here it is on our iPhone 10, and as you can see, our content is underneath the carrier information and the time, as well as it's being cut off by the notch and the rounded corners. Also, I can't find my entry <laughs> at this point. So we're going to need to fix that for iOS only. And actually for iOS 11 uh, and above only. So let's see how we do that. In our page, I'm going to add another namespace and we'll call this iOS. We'll bring in the CLR namespace and when I type Xamarin, you'll notice I've got a few things here, Xamarin Forms, Platform Configuration. I'd like to find the iOS specific one and we'll let it fill that in for us. And then we can just use it. 
And notice we need, we've got IntelliSense on this one, we need our page dot use safe area and we'll set that to true. Now let's run this again. Notice now our content is not being cut off. As well, I get the entry down here. Alright, so let's go over into Android. We'll set that as our startup. And let's just run it once. Alright, so what I want you to notice here is when I go to type in the entry and what happens to our content when that soft keyboard comes up, notice that it's all scrolled up. Okay, so if I need to know what was in that yellow box, I can't see it. Maybe we want to change that for this particular app. So let's see how we do that for Android. I'm going to go into the app.xaml for this one. We'll add a namespace here. We'll call this one Android. And we want Xamarin Android specific. And then we can just start using that as well. In this one, I don't have the IntelliSense or I haven't been able to get it for this one, but it's application and then it's kind of a long one. Windows, window, soft input mode adjust. Okay, we'll set that equal to, now I've got two choices. I can say pan or I can say resize. We're going to do resize. And now let's run this. Now notice when the soft keyboard comes up, we've resized the content above it. Thank you for joining me in this lightning lecture on platform specifics in Xamarin Forms. We'll see you in class.